How's everybody doing out there today? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Ridge Technology Screen, shooting smart technology gain. I'm going to be changing my screen out. I'm going to be actually going for a much bigger screen, probably around 146 inch 1610. I'm going to be using our Eclipse Invisible Black Silver, as you're seeing right here. So the screen's coming down right now. Actually, you know what? I might take it down today. I might take it down today. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to paint the wall or I'm basically going to build the screen. I haven't decided on that yet. I might build the screen. All right. So just to give you an idea how big the screen is, I had to bring my short throw from downstairs. Those of you have been emailing me, asking me, does the Black Silver Nano work with uh, short throw? Yes, it works with short throw. It works with ultra short throw. And of course, it works with the long throw back there, 14 feet. Now, just to give you an idea on where the projector is going to be sitting, my projector is going to be sitting at three feet away from the wall at 146 inches. This is going to be a very interesting projector. I can't wait to get it here. And no, it is not 4K. Now, I tell you why, and I have people ask me, why don't you get a 4K projector? Why I don't go near a 4K projector? I tell you why. 4K projector is an extremely powerful projector. At one point, you got to start thinking which one's doing all the work. Is it the screen? Or is it the projector? Now, if you look at a, for instance, if you look at a 1080p projector or a 720p projector, a 720p and 1080p projector with our technology, you really can't tell. And that's when you have a good, good screen, you can't tell. But when you're using a 4K projector, you can tell a huge difference between 4K and 1080p. Now, here's the question here. When you go to a booth, like an electronic booth or whatever, and you sit down for that to get the full home theater experience, when you're looking at that screen and the, and the salesperson is directing your attention toward the screen, you have to think, that 4K projector is sitting behind you, which one's doing all the work? Because I guarantee if you take that screen home, you put on a 1080p projector, you're gonna see a huge difference. If you put it on a, um, uh, 720p, you're going to see a huge difference. So this is the reason why I don't build near 4K projectors because it really, sorry, I had to scratch my back, that's why the camera tilted. It really doesn't um, uh, really show what your technology can do. It masses it, it covers it, and you don't really see it. So that's why when somebody sees somebody doing a demonstration on 4K, they got this wow factor, not thinking outside the box, which is doing more work. It is a projector or is it the screen? If it's a projector, then guess what, buddy boy? You got to drop some, a lot of money to get a 4K in order to achieve that picture on that particular um, particular uh, form of technology. Now, that's why our technology sells. We can use 720p, 1080p projectors, and the screen looks absolutely incredible. All right. Now, like I said, no smoke and mirrors. Like I said, very easy to use uh, poor lighting and a 4K projector to make a picture look fantastic. A screen, a person with a 720p, 1080p uh, projector should have in a fantastic picture. You shouldn't have to spend an arm or leg number one for the screen because some of the screens, like I said, four to $5,000 or you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money for an expensive projector, go through calibrating and all of the bull crap nonsense in order to get a good picture. Why? You know what I mean? Just projector, screen done, that's it. All right, so that's enough chatter. I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing here. So, to show you, to show you, just to give you an idea how big the screen is going to be, I brought my short throw downstairs. Now, keep in mind, this is going to be the actual size of the screen. Having to decide if I'm going to paint the wall or if I'm going to go the route of building the screen. I might just build the screen, to tell you the truth. I might just build it. I like to build, so I might just, I'm going to build the screen. All right, so my projector is, again, it's going to get this screen size, huge screen size, about 146 at around three feet from the screen. Now, we're going to do this with the lights on, and I will be using our technology, which will be our Eclipse Invisible Black Silver, because I love this paint. All right, so let's begin. And this is the advancement of the technology, mind you. I'm showing you this on short throw. Did this on long throw, and I'll have an ultra short throw here soon. And this just shows you how advanced the technology is. And keep in mind, the condensed lighting that's hitting my screen has contact with the screen. You're not looking at a overshadow view where you have an appearance that makes it look like, gives it the appearance that it has, um, it, it, it's connecting with the screen, but it really isn't. Look at that. I want to show you that the light physically comes in contact with the screen, not the uh, um, giving it the uh, illusion that it's 
hitting the screen with it isn't, it's just bypassing it. And that's what I like about the uh, black silver nano. You get more depth, more picture. Uh, it just adds more detail to the picture, it really does. Get on top of that, I can use it with the lights on if I choose to and not worry about my screen washing out. So now you got an idea on how big the new screen is going to be. And I can't wait to use it on the ultra short throw projector. Sorry if I got any bars going across the screen, I do apologize. Not wait to set this up. Wrong one. I'm doing my ceiling fan. All right, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. This was also a wake-up call for those of you that are using white projection screens to show you exactly how much you are missing from your picture. Well, thank you all for your time.